This presentation corresponds to Chapter 3 of the thesis Airport Mobile Internet and corresponds to an independent paper titled Airport Mobile Website Evaluation, Terminal Navigation and Commercial Revenue. This research was carried out in 2011 by taking a database of one of the largest 100 airports in the world and looking into their websites evaluating their mobile websites when available and looking into three uh, different elements. Easy access, quality of departure information and uh, uh, commercial revenue. As a background, we can say that airports used to be public utilities and now they have become a commercialized and sometimes, uh, sometimes privatized uh, industries. Here, as a data, we can say that almost 50% of the revenue of airport comes from commercial revenue, so non-aeronautical revenue. This is why the way airports look today is very different than the way airports used to look in the past. In this new environment, airports are facing at least two challenges. The first one is guiding passengers in this much more crowded environment. And second is how to keep developing commercial revenue. One of the recent trends is internet. If we take year 2000 as a reference, the number of users was multiplied by five times in 10 years and almost 10 times in 15 years and it has changed the way of doing business in many industries, included the tourism and the air transport. A most recent trend is the access to mobile internet through mobile devices. If we look at those passengers traveling with a mobile device with access to the internet, it was 54 of them in 2011, but this, it was more than 80% in 2014. So airports, in order to serve those uh, passengers, start to provide mobile services. This is one example of uh, Dallas in the US, as it looked in 2011. Take into account the challenges of airport together with these new trends, the objectives defined for these papers were the following. First, is there an easy access to those mobile services. Second, how is the quality of information provided for those passengers going to uh, take a, an airplane? And third, what is the commercial information available on those applications for those passengers using them? The methodology we used was the following. First, taking the 100 largest airport in the world in terms of passengers. Second, looking for their website address. Third, looking which one of those were providing mobile website uh, services. And last, to evaluate those uh, mobile websites. Website evaluation methods used in the Tunis research were adapted and used for the evaluation of airport mobile websites. As general results, and remember gathered in 2011, were that 26% of airport surveyed were providing uh, mobile websites. When looking from which uh, geographical point, North America and Europe uh, were much more likely to provide mobile websites that Asian airports. When looking at size, XL and L, we see that there is a small difference, but it's not a very, very clear difference between larger airports and smaller airports. The results in the three objectives defined were the following. First, it was easy access in 64% of the airport mobile websites evaluated. Second, on average, 
63% of the information evaluated was available on those mobile websites. In this point, it's important to highlight that airline-related information, such as airline name or flight number, was much more available than airport-related information, such as terminal number or check-in counter. And third, commercial information was available on 55% of those mobile websites. However, only 9% of those mobile websites combine departure information for passengers at the same time as retailing information. So as conclusions, we can say that 26% of the airports providing mobile websites in 2011 Largest airports were a bit more likely to provide it, but not a clear difference. When looking at geographical locations, two regions, North America and Europe, were much more uh, likely to provide these mobile websites. We can say that for those airports providing mobile websites, it was reasonable, easy to access with a, a fair quality of information when looking uh, departure information for passengers. However, commercial information was not very present and even less in the case of uh, being together with departure information. Thank you very much for listening.